Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system from the user mine about in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in this system. But with that all uh, said and done, let's get on to the system. So, it should be in here, just installed it. Uh, here it is, yeah, the Kazan system. So let's go ahead and see what they're prepared for us today. Right, hello. Okay, where are we? Okay, we've got quite a lot of reading. Okay, right, so the Kazan star in the middle. So here it is. Cool. Okay, so this is just known as star. This is actually supposed to represent binary stars that orbit close together, but the game didn't like that. Just pretend there are two stars. Uh, there's also supposed to be a Dyson swarm around the smaller star. Well, what we can do is, for uh, visual purposes, we'll throw in a secondary star. So, because we're not going to be playing the simulation, so we'll throw. Um, I don't know how how this thing looks quite large. Um, well, a smaller star. In theory, we could have the sun as a smaller star. So, yeah, let's just use the sun. So there you go. There's your binary system. So yeah, just. Uh, just uh, pretend that's been there the whole time. <laughs> there we go. So there's your two stars. So star A and B. Uh, anyways, first up. So planet one. So here we are. Okay. So we're well, losing material as well, right? Okay. This planet is like Mercury. It has a lot of metals and orbits close to the stars. The Kazan are mining its resources to build the Dyson Swarm. And in the process, it has gotten a thin atmosphere that is being blown away by the stellar wind. Hey, okay. Cool, cool. Next up, object number two. Uh, labels on. So object two is over here. Used to be a barren super earth without life, but has been terraformed by the Kazan. The Kazan that live here have extensive genetic and cybernetic modifications since they evolved in a much lower gravity. It all has a moon use for mining. Okay. So checking it, it stats out here. Let's have a little look. So 83 and 47. Uh, its moon is there. 2.1. So there it is. Okay. Got some city lights on it as well. Looking good. Where is the planet anyway? Um, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. It's over there. Cool. Okay. Next up, we have got the asteroid belt. So as we can see, it would be in this area here. We can go to the object visibility is unenhanced. Oh, so we just have these asteroids here. Uh, large industrial area spread across hundreds of asteroids and one dwarf planet. Only the dwarf planet and four most important industrial asteroids are in the simulation. Um, here a lot of interstellar spacecraft are produced. Nice. So dwarf one, we'll check that one out. That's probably the main of the main objects in here. So this would be like the equivalent of Ceres in this system, so there it is. Nice. Next up, we have got the Kazan gas giant. The gas planet that the Kazan call home. They originate from one of the moons. Floating cities exist in its atmosphere. It should also have a ring, but that was not added for performance reasons. Well, we can add that in here. Because we have the computer to do it. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll go to the good old 2 to 4 radius. Um... Oh no, I can't press the add button. No, I can't do it. The, the button isn't there. Oh no. Hang on, what if I try turning this off? Do that and then do this. No. Ah oh, no, I can't do it because there's menus in the way. Ah damn, that's a bit annoying. Oh well, we tried. So, cool. So yeah, the Kazan gas giant. So we've got Moon 1, very volcanic like Io. So there it is there. Also has great views. Then we have the home world. So the moon that Kazan originate from, it has a large supercontinent at one side and is tidy locked. Very geologically active and has many volcanoes. It is a planet that was captured in the duration... An object captured during the formation of the system. Nice. So there it is there. I like the one continent thing. That is quite cool. So there it is. So you can see the big one consonant there. It's also got a single little island there. Or two little islands. They're probably like volcanic activity actually, which is quite cool. Yeah, there it is. Nice. I like it. Nice. Next up we've got Moon 3. Used to be an atmosphere less world like a moon. It was the first object to be landed on by the Kazan during their early space program. Cool. 
Okay, next up we've got moon four. Four and five, large moons that are mostly used for mining. Okay, so they're the boring moons. So, yeah, they're less boring moons, less uh, activity going on down here. Okay, so there we go. Nice. It's a nice green gas giant as well, I do like that. Uh, next up we've got number four. Another gas planet with moons, looks like Saturn but without the rings. Ah, oh, nice. So moon one, used to have oceans in the early days of the system, but they have been frozen when the planet moved further from the star because of the gravity of the Kazan planet. The higher elevation areas are rich in copper and therefore have a green colour. Single-celled life formed here when the oceans existed and still survive to this day underneath the surface. Nice. So they've obviously evolved with their environment. Moon 2, another terraform moon. It is quite cold though, especially for the Kazan, who evolved on a very warm world. A group of moon scientists are living here. This is in the future, so the Kazan and human species can learn more about each other. Cool. There we go. So that's like a human colony in the far future. Then we have moons 3 and 4. Icy moons, not much interest in things. Okay. So next up, we are taking the jump, quite a big jump out actually, to object 5. So this is an ice giant with three icy moons that rotates on its side. So this is our Uranus equivalent in this system. It's nice to see when people like make their own versions of the solar system planets. Because we do see that trend quite a lot. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I do it myself on some occasion. Um, an ice giant with three icy moons that rotates on its side. The two inner moons are generic icy moons. The third one is a rocky moon with a thinner layer of ice on top. Without the ice, it would um, have a colour a lot like Mars. Not only small areas have a brownish colour. Cool. So there's its moons. And what we'll just open up in the menu here just so we can see they're all pretty basic stuff. Yep. Okay. Cool. So it's object five. Next up we've got object six. A Titan like planet with a methane atmosphere and liquid methane oceans. So yeah, basically it's Titan. Very nice indeed. Okay. Um, terraforming plans have been proposed but cancelled since methane based microbes live here and the terraform world would mean destroying their habitat. Instead, cities have been built inside giant domes. It is the most in, uh, inhabited non terraform world in the system. Nice. Next up, we've got Object 7, a binary gas planet. The other planet has been ejected or absorbed by all other major orbs and objects in the early days of the system, therefore, there are no other major moves. The planets are used to get uh, resources like um, deuterium or helium used in small floating bases, but for the most part, these planets have very few Kazan living on or around them. It's also got one moon there. Okay. Well, this is actually the binary asteroid, never mind. Cool. Then lastly, we have Dwarf 2. A dwarf planet in the edge of the system is the last major inhabited place in the space harbour for the construction site of ships going into the outer... Asteroid and comet belts, and sometimes interstellar. Okay, so that's the last sort of safe haven of this system, and it is a lot further out than pretty much everything as well. I mean, it's almost double the distance of Object Seven there, and yeah, that is it into the void. So, pretty cool stuff. Nice list system there. Nice little short and sweet system. I did enjoy that. So there we are. So there's our two uh, stars in the middle. Like I said, there was meant to be two. He just didn't spawn the other one in. But yeah, you got our binary close together, looking good. And I'll see over here. You can really see the green gas giant. That's pretty cool. So yeah, green gas giant. Very nice. That's definitely the coolest looking planet in here for the gas giants. So there's our lineup. So pretty cool stuff indeed. So there we go. All the way down there onto the rocky objects. Looking good. Nice. So there's the full lineup. But yeah, there we are, guys. So yeah, that does it for this system today. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Miner Bat, for sending in this system. Yeah, it was a good little fun. I enjoyed that. But yeah, if that all said and done, guys, a massive thank you um, again to Miner Bat. And yeah, a massive thank you to watching this video to all of you guys as well. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more as well. Helps on the journey to 27,000 subscribers. And yeah, if that all said and done, guys, again, a massive thank you. Um, have a great day out there. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.